The Fake Nigerian Billionaire Scrolling through the gram, as the kids call it, it can be easy to feel a bit less than. There are endless photos of millionaires and billionaires boarding their private jets. Photos of your friends in lavish locations and individuals traveling around the world doing things you could only dream of. A lot of people, sadly, fake it on Instagram. After all, we all want to appear exciting, fabulous, and wealthy. But there are some people who take it a bit too far. And I'm not talking about any bad photoshops. I'm talking about using Instagram to help commit a cyber scam worth $430 million. Today, we're going to talk about Raymond Arbus, or Hush Puppy, and the insane way he lied to the world and landed himself in prison. This is Raymond Abbas, and this is one of Raymond Abbas's mini cars. This Rolls-Royce Cullinan sells for a minimum of $340,000, and Raymond isn't shy about about flaunting it. In fact, he's not very shy about flaunting anything. Private jet flights with Gucci and Louis Vuitton luggage. Expensive watches clasped around his wrist inside a Bugatti. He posted photos of him trotting around the globe. From sitting on a car worth hundreds of thousands of dollars under the Eiffel Tower to stepping out of his Rolls Royce in Dubai, one of the most luxurious cities on Earth. And that's not to mention the clothes he wore in all these locations. There's this picture he posted of just a fraction of his shoes. This custom Versace robe that he sported in front of two of his Rolls Royce cars. And of course, there are the watches, including this one, and of course, this one. Oh, and this Richard Mill watch, worth $150,000. It's hard to imagine anyone having this kind of wealth. It's even harder to imagine this wealth disappearing in the blink of an eye in a single arrest. Because, after all, Raymond wasn't really a billionaire. Born in Nigeria, Raymond worked reselling secondhand clothing in the city of Lagos for most of his life. During this time, he began to cultivate an Instagram following by posting a luxurious lifestyle. A lifestyle that wasn't actually his. And truly, that's a lot easier to do than many people realize. In Russia, there's a company that offers two-hour photography sessions on a grounded private jet for $224 a pop. A short private jet flight will normally run you $5,000 or so. So, if you want to look rich without really being rich, two hours on a grounded flight might seem like the more obvious way to go. Raymond gained a lot of followers by presenting a lavish lifestyle. As his social media account began to grow, so did his plan. He marketed himself as a real estate investor and posted inspirational quotes about staying hungry and working hard to achieve success. People were drawn to him, and that created a huge following of victims that Raymond could prey on. At his peak, his account had 2.4 million Instagram followers, and a ton of them would be sending him money. He and a group of 11 others created fake websites for well-known companies and banks to steal credit card information. After people fell for the scam, they would launder the stolen money and be on their happy way. Well, that was until they got caught, that is. In early 2020, the police in Dubai burst into Raymond apartment in the early morning, they arrested him, as well as his 11 co-conspirators, for money laundering, hacking, scamming, and cyber fraud. During the raid, the police found an impressive stash. They discovered $37 million in cash in the home, most of which was stuffed into suitcases. Upon further investigation, it was discovered that there were over 2 million scam victims. Most of the victims are from the United States, but dozens are from Nigeria and Europe. However, cash and victims aren't the only thing they found. In the raid, 21 laptops, 47 smartphones, 15 memory sticks, five hard drives, and 13 luxury cars were seized. And those 13 cars alone were worth $6.28 million. Since his arrest, Raymond has been extradited to the United States. He's currently in jail in Chicago, but is expected to be moved to Los Angeles within the next few months. It's hard to imagine that someone who was posting this just a short bit ago is now sitting in a cell in an orange jumper. He was just living in the Palazzo 
Palazzo Versace in Dubai, a five-star hotel with luxury apartments. His home there had Versace art on the walls, parquet flooring, and full service. I have a feeling he'll never be experiencing that again, especially with how long he'll be put away for. That just goes to show you, friends. Cheaters never win. If you want success, do it the old-fashioned way and work your tail off. So, there you have it. The fortune of the fake Nigerian billionaire. It just serves as a reminder to not believe everything you see on social media. Thanks for watching. As always, I'm Mr. Luxury. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. I'll catch you next time. Pip-pip to doodly-doo.